Okay, we are doing case removal on an 8P MS227 all-in-one. The first thing we're going to do is down in below the, or underneath the, uh, of course we got it laid face down. Um, I see a lot of people using towels um, to protect their screen. The thing is, is that front on most of these is beveled back, so as long as you don't have a screw on the table, you're not going to really crack the screen. I mean, I wouldn't slam it down on the table. But um, depending on the towel you get, it could also cause some static electricity, which we will need to make sure we're grounded and we want to keep as, as little static as possible. So I normally do it on wood. It doesn't conduct electricity, so we are good on that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pop the plate out from underneath. Flathead screwdriver. Pop it out from underneath. Let's set it out of the way. Okay, and then we will take a Phillips screwdriver and remove three bolts that hold the stand on. I would not recommend using magnetic screwdrivers for these bolts it's fine but when once you get inside the case do not use magnetic screwdrivers okay the stand will actually slide down and then pop out okay set that out of the way we will now start by flipping this rubber piece up and we're gonna go ahead and go non -magnetic, magnetic here because the hard drive is sensitive. We want to keep our information. And if you keep track of your screws as you go, keep everything together, it kind of helps. So what I'll do is I'll actually put the screw on that plate that it goes with and set it down right here. You should not have screws left over when you're done. Okay, we are also going to go ahead and remove the screw for the CD-ROM drive because it will have to come out to uh, get the casing off. We're going to set it on that same plate. And the hard drive now, let's grab the handle. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's remove the screws there first. And this one is um, one that stays in. It will not come out. It's just, you just loosen it up and then slide your CD-ROM or hard drive over. And then Like I said, we were gonna we we're going to go ahead and remove the CD-ROM drive. The best way to do that is right here on this corner. Stick your finger up in here. Oh, I'm sorry, right under this plate right here, and just push it out. So we're gonna go ahead and slide it out, get it out of the way. Then we have the cover for the RAM has to come off because these screws are also holding part of the case so we will do the same with this we'll put the screw on top of it and set it aside so we know what screws go where okay now here's the part that everybody wants to know is how to get this casing off and actually it is really simple um, if you stick your fingers right down here on where the hard drive was there's actually some stuff down there so you can't reach down in there but right in here you can and you can use a straight screwdriver or I found that if you just push on the casing oh, it will pop loose there's a little pin down in here we'll go ahead and well I said it's easy the light. Is that right? And there's another clip right over here. So if you get these two bottom clips, and you can see them right through here, there's two of them down in there. So if you get those bottom clips, once you get those, you're pretty much good. Because you can kind of pull it up a little bit and get your fingers under the edge over here, and then just run around the outer edge. And as you go, 
be where they're at. And you kind of pull out away from the center as you do that. Maybe those clips are going to start popping loose. And there it is. There's the casing. The casing has been removed. Now you can clean your the dust off your fans and the motherboard is directly under this metal plate right here. It's just one, two, three, four, five, five screws to take that plate off. And I think there's about eight in the, uh, actually, let me go ahead and show you. If you are cleaning all this stuff, um, there is that one thing you could do. Um, of course, like I said, this is getting in depth on it. But you can go ahead and remove this plate. And this corner down here, there's actually a ground wire that is with this screw. So you'll want to make sure you put that back. screws have been removed you don't have to remove that tape back this comes off and if you take one two three four five six screws out this will pop up off and this all slides out together to be cleaned and then put back so if you're cleaning the dust out of that you can um, if you're changing the motherboard you just unhook all the wires around through it or here I don't know and change the motherboard out. If you're keeping the processor and RAM, you just switch them over to the new board, drop it in, hook everything back up, and you are done. Okay, let's get our tape up back here. And that will, has little pins in the corners. Oh, there it is. see how quick we can do this we'll just take it apart and put it together in one video see how long it takes okay don't forget your ground wire there of course it, that's only if you took this off you don't have to take this off because I, I recommend if you take that heat sink off to clean out this if you take the inside off um, I recommend getting new heat sink compound which for these computers, that's pretty much what caused this one to go out. The motherboard went out on it. Actually, the video on the motherboard. And part of that heat sink runs over that mother or that the video chip in this one. And the cooler we can keep it, the better. So you can get some good. It's got some on it, but you can always add a little extra. Some better. Okay, double check. We got the screws put our tape back down and that's normally to help keep from some vibrations and and sometimes it's for warranty purposes it'll have void under it sometimes when you move them off but that's okay we're fixing this one. Oh, I'm going backwards here let's put the casing on first okay now putting it back on just line it up and push it down and when you get it down in place you have to actually push back in towards the center of the PC and snap it back into place just push all those clips back into place oh, there's one more I think that's it let's flip it over to double check okay and if it is not you can actually you would actually see it bulging out over here like right there you can see it okay. now we have the back 
pasting back on. We are going to go ahead and slide the CD-ROM back in. our hard drive back in, hold it by the handle and put it down there very lightly. Slide it into place and then screw it down. We are going to replace our RAM cover. So I can do use a magnetic head screwdriver. That is it. It is done. That's how you remove the case.